Before we start our presentation, we are sorry for the unnecessary sound you may hear throughout the video. And there is no copyright intended for the music in the video that we have used. Thank you! Module 4 Reviewing Business Financial Performance and Tactical Executions Through Monitoring and Control will be presented by Jessa Carla Almazan, Jovelin Commendador, Laika Loyuz Adam, John Rovit Gavino, John Kirby Reyes, Justine Denise Urbina, and Chris L. Villamore. The topics to be discussed and its presenters. Good day everyone! My name is Justine Denise M. Urbina and today I will be discussing the firm's monitoring and control. So, what is monitoring and control? Monitoring and controlling is the process of monitoring performance and taking corrective actions in order to ensure that the company is on track and accomplish its objectives. Hmm, why do you think monitoring and controlling is important to the firm? First, it is because it provides you a thorough insight of your customer's demands and requirements. Because of your customer's wants and needs constantly changing, monitoring your strategy will allow you to make changes or amendments based on the current trends and patterns. Second, monitoring your marketing strategy enables you to prevent ineffective efforts, minimizes unnecessary areas of emphasis, and boosts revenue. Third, it can ensure you as a business owner or an entrepreneur to notice something earlier on the process if there is something wrong or not, which can save you both time and money. And most importantly, you can see how you are performing and make judgments on how are you going to tackle the next plan of your stage. You can also make adjustments earlier rather than later. And now, let's move on to the types of marketing control. But before that, I want to define that marketing control refers to the measurement of the company's marketing performance in terms of sales revenue generated, market share captured, and profit earned. First type of marketing control is the annual plan control, which ensures that the firm meets its sales and profit targets. As the name suggests, the plans are determined for one year for the control of operational activities through successful implementation of management by its objectives. These plans and programs are usually constructed and controlled by the top management of the organization. There are five vital tools under the annual plan control. First is the sales analysis, where the manager determines whether the target sales are achieved or not. For this purpose, the actual sales are compared with the desired sales and then the deviation is computed. Second is the market share analysis. It is used to evaluate the competitiveness of the business. The management needs to find out the market share acquired by the organization. Third is the marketing expense to sales analysis. It is calculated to know if the percentage of sales value paid off as a marketing expense because sometimes the firms spend too much money on the marketing of their products, which results to the diminishing of their profit margin and increasing the price of their products. Fourth is the financial analysis, which examine the reasons and factors influence on the rate of return, financial leverage, and return on assets of the organization. It also helps to enhance the financial leverage position of the company. And last vital tool is the customer attitude tracking, where customer satisfaction has been considered as an essential parameter to analyze the organization's performance. And since we're done with the annual plan control, let's move forward to the profitability control. Profitability control refers to the efforts in determining the true profitability of items, consumer groups, trade channels, and order volumes. There are three steps in profitability control. First is identifying functional expenses. 
Second, assigning functional expenses with marketing entities. And lastly, preparing profit and loss statement for each marketing entities. Going on with the types of marketing control, we have the efficiency control where management and marketers are regularly involved in finding out ways to improve the task performance in the organization. These improvements bring in efficiency and perfection in the marketing operations of the organization, which helps them a lot. And last type of marketing control is the strategic control, which determine if the company's marketing strategy is still relevant on the current conditions of the market. Its main purpose is to examine whether the company is pursuing its best opportunities with respect to markets, products, and channels. To summarize, we have four types of marketing control. First is the annual plan control. Second is the profitability control. Third is the efficiency control. And lastly, the strategic control. Wherein the main purpose of annual plan control is to examine whether the results are being achieved. And also, for the profitability control, the examine whether the company is making or losing money. And third, the efficiency control, where they evaluate and improve the spending efficiency and impact of marketing expenditures. And lastly, the strategic control where they are examining whether the company is pursuing its best opportunities with respect to the markets, products, and of course, the channels. And that is all for today, learners. I hope you learned something from me. See you next time. Thank you for listening. I am Jan Robic A. Gabino, and my report is Lesson 16, The Organization's Financial Projection. Financial Projection it uses existing or estimated financial data to forecast the organization's future income or expenses. A financial projection includes estimates for future gross revenue, profits, and expenses. These projections are the forecast of the organization's cash inflows and outlays, income and balance sheet. Financial projection is a document that will help to predict organization's health by indicating how much money it will make in the future. It is a tool that provides details on the timing of cash coming in and going out of the organization each month. That's why it provides picture of the organization's cash balance throughout the year. Financial projection include expenditures incurred with or without output such as rent, utilities, interest payments, and other continuing expenses. To give insights into periods when the organization will have enough cash to cover their expenditures, it will also help the organization to see when they will have financing needs and when is the best time to make capital expenditures. Organization must keep an eye on how the business is doing. That's why doing regular updates to financial projection is very important. For example, the organization decided to get a loan. The prospective lenders will want to see the organization's financial projection for how the business will do with the future funds. Analysis of break-even point. It is the point at which the total revenue is equal to total cost or expenses. The break-even analysis will help the organization to determine what level of sales are required to cover their fixed costs. At the break-even point, the organization don't make or lose money. Once the organization pass the break-even, they earn money. But if it is below the break-even, they lose money. Break-even point is based on fixed expenses, variable costs, and selling price. Break-even point formula. Break-even point is equals to fixed cost over sales per unit minus variable cost per unit. Here is an example of break-even point graph. The horizontal axis is the number of units sold, and the vertical axis is the total of the dollars. Contribution margin is the line going up for every unit sold. Fixed cost is the line connected to contribution margin. Fixed cost doesn't vary with the number of units sold. The break-even point is where the two lines intersect. The blue shaded area is the profit, and the red shaded area is the loss. 
the market research, and its appendices and exhibits. Appendices and exhibits, which contain significant papers utilized in the proposal. First, let's talk about appendices. Appendices are useful because they provide additional information to the reader without interfering with the narrative or detracting from the main aim of your research. What is exhibit? A exhibit is a supplement to either a contract or more often a brief or the other submission to a court. Next is appendix. An appendix provides supplemental material that is not required to be included in the text but may be useful in a giving more two graphs of the research subject and information that is too lengthy to include in the body of the paper. Each individual topic or group of data should have its own appendix with a title that describes its substance. Next is Business Plans Appendix. A business plans appendix is generally the last component to appear in the business plan. Although not needed, a well-structured appendix might help persuade your reader that you have a brilliant company concept or that you have a properly thought through your proposal. A business plans appendix is where you may insert any other papers that you wish to use to give your reader a sense of your product, marketing, capabilities, and so on. For the summary of my report, appendices are useful because they provide the reader with information that supports your study without breaking up the narrative or distracting from the main purpose of your paper. If you have a lot of raw data or information that is difficult to present in textual form, consider uploading it to an online site. Good day everyone, I'm Jovelyn Commendador. Lesson 18, the marketing research paper and its table and analysis matrix. Decision tables used to assess, examine, and express a company's business principles may also help you find conditions that you may not have considered, has several conditions columns as well as a conclusions columns. Decision tables are often embedded in computer programs and used to control the logic of the program. A simple example is a lookup table that contains a range of possible input values and a function pointer to a section of code to, a, to handle that input. The decision table is a way to graphically assign conditions and actions. Represent the fact that certain actions need to be taken only if certain conditions or combination thereof are met. It will be used to prepare a set of conditions, rules, and actions that will be taken by the individuals, participants, or group of participants in the production processes. And next, what is the significance of the analysis in research? Data analysis is important in research because it makes studying data much easier and more accurate. It helps you understand the current status of your business or processes process and provides a solid foundation uh, for predicting future outcomes. Data analysis also allows companies to understand current market scenarios, modify process, and trigger the need to develop new products that meet market requirements. Good day everyone, I am John Kirby Reyes from BSA3A and I'm here to discuss the market research summary of findings. 
Summarizing means giving a concise overview of a text's main points in your own words. And in summary of findings, it summarizes the most relevant outcomes of a therapy, providing the best impact estimate and the confidence of the evidence for each outcome. On the other hand, an interactive summary of findings table allows user to examine more or fewer outcomes and more or less details about each outcome to see effect estimates presented in multiple ways, such as with numbers, words, or visuals, and to obtain explanation of the material displayed. Next is the conclusion. Conclusion should clearly represent the study's major findings. A component of the result summary is to include an explanation for each finding. Utilizing anchor wording that validates rather than distorts the meaning of the findings. Tell us how the findings are important or relevant in relation to the study's goal and scope. Another component of the finding summary is to compare or relate your findings to the research listed in your study's literature review. And now, let us proceed in the answer that you have answered your research questions in the opening of the summary of findings, such as the assert your discovery, findings, objective of a summary for a research article, and conclusion. First, let us start in the assert your discovery. In this section, you should tell the reader how discovery is essential or related to the purpose and emphasis of your research. Contrast your findings with those of the literature. Use the literature in a certain way. The reader should be able to see the link or the connection. Second is the findings, which is important to confirm or refute the premise that underpins your research. The process of articulating the results, on the other hand, assists you in understanding the problems from within breaking it down into parts and viewing the study topic from numerous viewpoints. Third is the objective of a summary for a research article, like the abstract, is to provide the readers with a quick overview of what the study indicates. You will need to determine what information is useful and communicate it succinctly but carefully. Then last is conclusion which is an important component of the paper as I have discussed about it earlier. It offers closure for the reader while also reminding the readers of the contents and value of the paper. But always remember, a conclusion does not add new ideas. Rather, it should clarify the purpose and significance of the article. That's all. I hope you've learned a lot. Thank you. As a result, it's important for an organization to review business financial performance and using tactical executions through monitoring and control from this Lesson 15 to Lesson 19. Effective strategy control necessitates frequent monitoring of the strategy's progress and execution to determine whether the expected results are being achieved. A plan control system ensures that action is taken. The goal of the strategy control system is to ensure that the organization's actions are successful. Owners know that in order to achieve long-term objectives, they must first achieve more urgent ones. The goal of this lesson is to create a control system that allows you to capitalize on chances while reducing the need for crisis management. Financial predictions allow you to see when you could require finance and when it's optional to invest in capital. They assist you in keeping track of cash flow, changing pricing and altering manufacturing schedules. A financial forecast shows expected results for your organizations based on the variables you expect to prevail.
It's necessary to make sure your company plan can stand alone. All content in the appendix should be considered supplemental. Details from your market research studies, competition information, press clippings about you and your company. The importance of data analysis and interpretations cannot be overstated. It assists in making educated judgments rather than relying on guesswork or forecasts. The information gathered can be used to set and identify data trends. Working with data sets in any discipline of study and statistics necessitates data interpretation and analysis. Market research is definitely important when creating a marketing strategy. It gives you valuable information about your company and the market as a whole. Market research may reveal how current and potential customers perceive the company as well as any gaps in client expectations. At the end of our recent half day evaluation of the business strategy and performance the unit's general manager may resolute and vowed to carry on it's all about execution the plan must work harder and smarter than just producing the numbers thank you good day everyone i am like louis adam today i will state to you the recommendation to improve the monitoring and control, you need to follow the specific steps. You can monitor process improvements, establish areas of improvement within your current process. Review your current process step by step and highlight areas of improvement. Capture current baseline metrics. How to improve organization's financial production. Keep budgeting and forecasting flexible rigid. Forecast and budgets aren't very useful. Things change as the year processes and you need to be able to factor in those changes and how they will affect your business. Last, to improve the market research paper, you need to identify opportunities. Market is full of possibilities. A market researcher has to continually understand the opportunities available in the changing market through good analytical Skills. A market researcher can identify the opportunities to launch new products and advertise the product in various locations. A market researcher studies the trend in the market and then submit a detailed report to the management or client to make an informed decision.